drain points, and so that's that measures them. This is a, well, no, you just look in there, and make sure there's no water, which I'm not really oh, okay. highly suspect. Right you know, you look in there, and make sure there's no. Oh, I see. You see bubbles or like look like some spicula. <laughs> no, that's the water. That's what you're gonna see. Huh? Yeah, you'll see some or see how it's floating at the bottom. Yep. Yeah, they go. Oh, there's water. <laughs> Have you wanted one of these for a while? Oh yeah. Well, I've I helped this guy flight test this thing back in 1994, so sure. I really didn't know much about it till he got it. But then I and I was a I had my flight instructor license back then, so I gave him some flight instruction. I taught him how to do acrobatics, and uh, and so I wanted to get one like this. I went, his this one won first place at Oshkosh, and then he was trying to sell it. And he was asking a lot of money for it. I couldn't afford what he was asking, but he only, I didn't realize, I kind of looked at it once and he only put up it for sale for a few, like a year or half a year and then took it off the market hmm. and never tried to sell it again. And then he had some back issues. Oh no. Never flew that much and then he got basically a form of mad cow's disease and died. Oh, you're serious? So he, uh, wow. Yeah, so I never really... And then I tried to help, uh, his wife needed to sell it because he was a large animal vet and he was self-insured and they were going to run out of money because even that little last year of hospice care was going to be pretty mm. steep and they, uh, she went to sell it. The economy kind of gone down a lot since he tried to sell it like four or five years before and so I, uh, I put it online for it to sell it. There's a website website called barnstormers.com. That's where you buy a lot, especially RVs or a lot of experiment, any kind of plane, really. But a lot of, if you sell an RV, you've got to sell it. You've got to sell it on barnstormers.com. Uh, so she put the price on there, and I go, no, you got to ask more than that. I go, oh. I'm looking at these. She goes, I, well, I asked the guys at the airport. They said, that's a fair price. And I go, no, that's not a fair price. And uh, so I said, how about doing this or, you know, set this price for uh, just a small bit. And she was hesitant, and then so she did. And I got, I got like, I, I put it up there, I think, in 24 hours. This is like, a, this is years ago, too. But it's pretty amazing because you could do a hit counter on it. You got 8,000 hits in 24 hours. My word. Crazy. I mean, you can see, obviously, you, you stuff now will get crazy, but I mean, that's kind of uh, a lot of uh, hits for people looking for an airplane. Yeah. And um, so I called the next day and I go, listen, it, there's a lot of people. She goes, well, I was just going to call you too. I wanted you to you, you put that fixed price. I want this price or or best offer. We need the money soon. I go, and I told her, Susan. Well, then, no, so we, then we had a <laughs> conversation. I hung up. I called up Sherrod. We talked about it. I called her back. I go, Susan. The plane sold. It sold the day of the first day. She goes, it did. And I go, if you're selling for that price, I'm buying it. <laughs> I'm going to pay your own price because I don't want to seem like I'm getting it for a good deal. Oh. Uh, and uh, so she was happy. Oh, that. I'll bet. She wanted me to, she always wanted me to buy it. They wanted me to buy it before, but it was like, I'm not gonna pay, I can't pay that much. Mm-hmm. <laughs>
I fly for FedEx, so I'm a cargo. Oh, you know, my son. Oh, he did? Yeah, he said, you know, I love flying. This is the problem is, the back. He says, I'm going to back the back the cargo. <laughs> they used to do uh, uh, big buses for rock groups and stuff like yeah? that. They had toured on buses and they, and they had those real funky, you know, paint schemes. Wild and, and crazy. And they, and they paid a lot for them. And so this guy was painting for those buses back then. And so he goes, Oh, I got all this really cool stuff I can do on this plane. And it was, he was a friend of the builder. And so he, you know, he, he paid him something, but I'm sure he hardly paid him much. That is. He signed his name over there. He was pretty proud of me. Oh, did he? <laughs> Well, I can yeah. see why. I know, yeah. How I know. long have you had it? Ah, uh, 10 years. You know, Roger is his name. That's his signature. Oh, I see it, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. It's adorable. But yeah, it is. It's a, Well, it was built in 1994, so it's never been repainted or anything. It was a good paint job. Am I in you guys' way? Oh, no, no. No, we're just going to go get something to eat. Yeah, we are. I, my husband, we were in the yard. I look so wonderful. So gorgeous. Yeah, you are. I was thinking about feeling that.